Jaheem White. Questions for Jaheem White? So, Jaheem, just what were your expectations uh, as a true freshman? Have you met those, exceeded them, got less than? I mean, you, you, you've become a major contributor. So what have you thought of your year? Uh, it's going well. Um, you know, I still got a lot to work on and um, things to improve on, but I feel like everything's going pretty well. When you got here in January, what, what did you think your freshman year would be like? Did you have expectations? Um, nah, it was just more like to come in, do what I do, you know, show my talent, and then work harder than everybody else. Jaheim, what, what does it mean to you when you hear, because we talk a lot to coaches and other running backs, and they all just praise you up and down, like what even CJ did 20 minutes ago. What does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's a good thing, but, you know, like, I work with a chip on my shoulder, you know, and I just work. Coaches have talked about you saying, you know, sometimes that it's the other things outside of having the ball that have kept you from getting more opportunities, blocking, game things. Have you realized that and how hard have you worked to improve in those areas? Yeah, I realized it a lot. Like, for like my abilities, like all around, like I'm able to catch the ball. I'm able to go block, you know, anybody. So, but yeah. It's great. Mm-hmm. When you came in, did you expect to play right away? Yeah. Did. Yeah. Okay. Even with the guys that had returning? Yeah, depending on like how I, you know what I'm saying, how I come and approach it, play, work hard. Uh, Is it just a product of um, you just having self-confidence in your ability? And yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Neil mentioned after the game that he felt you, you practiced really well this past week, even better than before, and that's why you're able to get more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that? What do you think you, you maybe did differently that he would say that? <clears throat> uh, it was more of like me moving around in my body language. Like that was the main thing I had to uh, work on and focus on. And then one, once I fixed that, you know, the gates are open. Any body language on the field, like in plays or just in general? Water? Like just in general, like all around. Your high school stats were off the charts good. <clears throat> did you get a feeling like, hey, yeah, I produced this, but there's always the doubters out there saying, yeah, bud, he's, he's small. Or did you have any of that in the back of your mind? Like, I got to prove these guys wrong? Yeah. Like, if you wake up every day and don't think you got to prove somebody wrong, you got to prove everybody wrong. So that was my main thing. Like, me being slept on in high school, you know, coming back and, like, you know, working hard. It's just a big step for me mentally. Speed is pretty natural, but strength isn't. I mean, I mean, you can have some strength, but that that you build on. Uh, are you more proud of what you've done strength-wise than, than, than with your speed? Yes, I'm very proud of what what I've been doing with strength-wise. Mike Joe been getting me right, like you know, every day workouts, lifting in the morning, uh, extra conditioning and all that. So yeah. How hard is it, and, and where would you be if you didn't do that? How hard is it? I mean, yeah, it's a lot of work, but like I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It's hard, but it's nothing like you know. what I'm saying we can't get through, or like I can't get through. So, yeah. is there one back you look at and you say, "That's who I want to play like. That's who I want to be." Like, uh, uh, back somebody that you uh, admire, or somebody that you look at and say, "That's the kind of running back I want to be." I'll say like Saquon, or like Josh Jacobs, something like that. Yeah. Those are the guys that you look at and say, I want to run their style. Yeah. You ever look at guys like um, that Kansas has had, the Kansas State in the back, smaller guys like Deuce Vaughn, people like that? Have you paid attention to what they did and how effective they were? Yeah, I paid attention to it. But, like, me and Deuce Vaughn, we got the same, you know what I'm saying, the, little, the shortness or whatever. But, like, and we get slept on. But um, me comparing to him, it's like we doing the same thing. So we just trying to, you know what I'm saying, so what we can do to the world. So his more about size and his running style. Yeah. Yeah. Are you aware the body language was something you could be critiqued on? Say it again. Are you aware the body language was something that you could be coached on and critiqued on? I mean, no, it wasn't really that. It was just like it always been like that for me. I don't know why, but I mean it's something that I worked on and improved on. What was it? Were you just like I don't know, bad mood, chipping your shoulder, walking around, or like what are they what are they talking about there? 
slow walking or like I don't know, like lack of urgency for real. Other coaches in the past also come up to you and be like, "Hey, what's going on? You yeah. all right?" Just yeah. by the way your demeanor is. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the first time that I've okay. been like that. Did you maybe communicate with Neil in the past that, hey, I don't, I don't mean anything by this? Yeah, 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 yep. Okay. I imagine you can handle if people say you're short, but not that you're small. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I mean, when people tell me that, like, I don't really, you know, get into it. You know, I just, like, I don't know. I just don't like to get into it. Like, it don't matter about the size, like. Feel tall when you get in the end zone. Yeah. <laughs> there was a camp here in what twenty one, I think. You had a really good day, and like there was a clip that went viral, right, about your performance that day. And then, if I remember correctly, you got a lot of attention out of that camp, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that changed things for you because I think you still only end up with one power five, right? Yeah, uh, it changed a lot, but at the same time, it didn't because like after the, that camp. Uh, Coach Scott offered me, like, I already knew where I wanted to go. I already knew what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be. So, like, it wasn't until. Were, like, all your eggs in one basket on that one? Like, you had to have a good day that day? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. I think. <laughs> did, did you know, like, during the day or when you, before Chad finds you or talks to you, like, did you have an idea walking out the field that, like, like, yeah, I nailed it. This is what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like I had a, a very good camp. Uh, it was a little things, you know what I'm saying, like, I think my 40, I don't know, I think I felt like I ran slow, but other than that, like, everything else was good. I'm sure you had preconceived notions of what it was going to be like to, to be a college football player and go through a season. Has it been harder than you thought, and if so, how? Nah, I don't think it, nah, I don't think it's been harder. Has it been harder? Mm. Mm. You're from York, Pennsylvania? I'm originally from Miami, but I played my high school years in New York. Oh, those guys, because that, that's Penn State country, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like the first game of this year there. <clears throat> uh, it was a very crazy crowd, but I've been there before. Like, I've been to Penn State games, so, like, I already, you know what I'm saying, know what's there. But, like, and then I didn't play, so me just sitting there, like, I'm already knowing how I, how I feel to be in there. You said it wasn't harder, but is there anything that's caught you off guard, or is there things that you're like, oh wow, I didn't, I didn't realize that it's something I need to work on in my game. To be honest, no, not really. Yeah. So everything you thought is pretty much how it's come out. Yeah, how it's going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a as a newcomer to college football, what's it been like running behind an offensive line that's a bunch of veterans? We've got a, you know, a lot of guys up front, a lot of starts. Uh, it feels good, actually. Like, in high school, I didn't really have a line, like, you know what I'm saying, a, a real um, special line. But now in college, running behind, you know, Zach, Wyatt, and all them, uh, that's a great, big uh, accomplishment for me. And, like, you know, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Jaheim, you said you were born in Miami. When did you move to York? 2017. Okay, so your parents' jobs, what what, what took, brought them to that area? Or uh, my, my mom and, like, my auntie, my grandma, like, they were, they grew up up there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, uh, it was like a back and forth to Miami to York mm -hmm. situation, so, yeah. Was that tough for a kid? So you're 12, 13, 14, yeah, 12. I don't know. So yeah, it's difficult to pick up from an area you grew up in and, and move to a whole different place? Yeah, it was real tough. Like, I had a little family up there. Um, I only had, one, like, one cousin up there, but, like, that was the only person I was around. Uh, it was hard going to school and all that, like, me and new people, but, you know what I'm saying? So the 2017 would be six years up here. Are you used to the winters, or I see you got the big No, coat. I ain't used to it still. I, I still be probably the toughest for you, right? Yeah, like, yeah, I still be walking around with jackets on cold. <laughs> Did sports help you, you know, become ingrained in high school? I mean, you know, make the transition. You're the new kid, but did sports quickly help you make that front, those friendships and such? Yeah, yeah. Little League, um, 2017, when I first came, I played running back little quarterback or whatever um and like i was just like the person that like they never saw before so it was just like yeah it was great what, what, what drew you to 
to West Virginia? Say it again. What drew you here? <clears throat> um, I'll say like the coaching staff, the environment, you know, uh, the teammates. Yeah. I know you and Rodney kind of got close once you both were, were leaning towards coming to WVU, but either him or who are your real close friends on the team, like your best friends on the team? Uh, I mean, my whole freshman class, for real, like we all close, you know, um, yeah, the whole freshman class. It was probably a good thing moving up here, I guess, because, you know, you can get lost down there in Florida with all the talent that's down mm -hmm. there, especially if you don't have the the big physical things that they look for. Yeah. Uh, did, do, you, do you feel like it was good for you to come? Yeah, at first I didn't, like, because, like, I didn't want to leave Miami. So at first it was definitely hard. But, you know, when I came up and I got comfortable, I started to see my ways and, like, my paths. Where I was going, I was just like, okay, like, this is... That's what it is. All right, thank you very much. Yep.